Hey guys, so, so today you and I are going to talk about the software market. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I see a lot of people getting into software development. Do you think that the software development market is oversaturated with developers? <clears throat> yes. Uh, it's oversaturated with bad developers or like I there are a few flavors of developers archetypes that I like to talk about which is like the bootcamp level developer the uh, the uh, the weak so senior or like the incompetent seniors and so forth uh, so there's a lot of that going around there's a lot of uh, people in software development but uh, I really believe that one part of it is because uh, we simply don't have a model for keeping up with the landscape at this point uh, that's one part the other part is that we seem we, we do not have a um, a saw a problem uh, oh sorry we don't have a solution to fix the gap between what you have to know in order to be effective or let the very least get into the industry and what the companies expect you to know let me explain these things a little bit so first and foremost when I talk about people who are, as I said, call like, like I call them, bootcamp level developers or like weak seniors or people who are like they're actually not seniors, they're they're like they're never gonna be anything else, anything besides freelancers, or maybe they're gonna get lucky and have like a. Um, because that's the thing. Usually, uh, I had uh, I've had a few interviews with people like that, guys uh, who have been working for like 13 years, and they and some of them have attitude. Like I've never seen anything like it. Like guys who, I love that. I love it when the I talk to a senior who talks with the confidence of someone who's been doing this for 13 years, and he can't tell me what a promise is. I can't ask him about, and I can't ask him about CSS because all he's ever done is work with Tailwind, apparently. And that's not a senior. It's not a senior at all. It's not an individual that you can put into. Like I, I like to define a senior is an individual that is capable of fixing a project or capable of uh, of guaranteeing the success of a project. That is a real senior software developer. And that's not a senior software developer by my definition. And you know, the, there are multiple questions that I can ask them. And but they and the well, they do this thing that I love as well. They talk with the confidence, and I know that that confidence they have. One part of it is that they are like naive and think and usually overestimate their own ability. But the other part is that uh, when they get hit with a question that they don't know, they the ego kicks in. Because of course they're very experienced, very masterful software developers, and so they start trying to convince me that they know the answer. They don't really want to admit that they don't know. That's what I love about talking to mid-levels and juniors. They're usually scared, and they're usually very humble, so they very quickly admit that they don't even try to fake it. They just admit that they don't know. But these people, like they, they, there's so many of these people in IT, and a lot of them get into different companies because the people who are doing the hiring, which is the other part that I was talking about, they don't actually know what it takes to be effective at the job. So the thing that is very difficult is to find someone who uh, find someone who will be a good contributor to your company. So the market is saturated with people who have subpar skills or like bootcamp level developers who have like they know a few tools but they don't have the experience needed in order to just be put into an environment and sort of make it work. And most companies unfortunately don't have the knowledge to set up an environment where you can hire people of that skill level. And that's where the mismatch is. So the companies are internally trying to sort of figure out how, how do we do development? Because the companies don't know. Most companies have no idea of how to set up an effective IT company. They're literally trying to figure that out as we speak. 
And in such an environment, what you truly need, and that is why the demand for the top-end developers is so high, you need people who really know their shit. Think about it yourself. If you're going to have people in, like, it's almost, in, in a way, it's almost like having a disorganized army or something like that. If you have a disorganized army of soldiers, you need to have, the, the only way for you to, 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 to make that work is that you only have soldiers who are master level soldiers or like at whatever they do. Because you basically need them to figure out for you how to deal with the situation. Because you don't know how to lead them. And that is exactly how IT works today. And so there's so many people who get into or to, who are trying to get into IT where we, we simply don't have a model that works. Uh, I know a model, the only model that will work at present, and I know what probably is going to be the only thing I'd like to think at the very least that I, I, I suspect I know where we're heading with all of this. But at, as of today, no. Like, uh, absolutely, the market is saturated with subpar developers. The thing that is lacking is uh, the really good ones. So what I usually do uh, is that I try to explain to the company that I work with, and like when they ask, when I work with any company today, I try to explain to them that you will not be able to sustain a business model or a, a, a scaling model for a company on the idea that you're only going to hire the best of the best. That is not going to work. Because the amount of subpar developers that you are going to go through in order to get to just one competent, stable, solid software developer is enormous. You can bet on that maybe one in a hundred interviews is going to be that level of software developer. Because the really talented software developers are exceedingly rare. They're rare to the point where you don't even, like most companies don't even know what a real software developer is capable of doing. They have no way of telling because, there, as I said, the market is so flooded with people who sort of know some stuff that it, if you don't really know what you're looking for, you're going to be swimming in those people. And that is that is the killer. That is the where you have all, you really, really see how bad things can go and this I've seen this especially at the corporate level holy shit that's that does it does not go well so in order to order to solve this you basically need to invest in a in at least what I believe in a model that is a little bit different so IT has this inclusive environment these days where you're trying to basically say that everybody's equal we're only hiring the best and we only want the best to play with the best so we're we're just going to focus on on scaling through that means and i don't believe that that is sustainable i believe that the way to solve it is to say that we have a model for w where there are grades of software developers and it's not about senior junior mid level it is about raw passion and talent because you can have a master level junior and you can have a master level uh, mid level or a master level senior you can ha you, you it's uh, you, what you're looking for are passionate people who really care about getting good at software development those people are rare they're rare as fuck the people you're swimming in are the people who are going to ask you how much is my salary am i going to get to do play with some cool tools and like these these people are a dime a dozen but these are not the best of the best these are usually the people who are may if, if you're lucky they're be, they're going to be good enough to do the job and if you're unlucky they're going to fuck your system up to the point where it's going to have to be fixed by the master level level programmers but if you, you if you, if you focus on having a model within your company where the idea is that when you find people who are extraordinarily invested into software development you put them in a position where they can do the most good and you should i find that the best way of doing that is to create specialized teams uh, cross functional teams or like uh, supporting teams platform like teams that are basically responsible 
for setting up your entire company. They 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 are the ones that they have like yeah, they are the team that sets standards for API, standards for coding practices, tooling, like all of this stuff. They basically tell all the other developers their business as a group and these people of course have to have a very high level of empathy and be very diplomatic and so forth but the reason why this works is because that group or like these people usually become very organic foremans or leaders within the company and the benefit of that is that now you can actually guarantee the quality of the system as a whole across the company rather than trying to fix the problem by just hoping crossing your fingers that every hire you'd make is going to be equal uh, or, uh, and that, that they're going to be competent because that's simply not the case today. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, software development is definitely saturated of very 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 inexperienced like uni levels or like bad seniors, mid levels, boot camp level developers who like they took some courses they don't actually know how anything works uh, practically apart from what it says on the documentation and if you ask them how they keep themselves updated they'll tell you that they sometimes read the documentation that's not a good software developer that is a person who is looking for a job that's unfortunately not good enough if you want to have a well working digital system because software development is a passion in uh, it's a talent industry uh, and you can't uh, you, you cannot substitute talent with uh, with just having someone who learns some stuff or like enough so that they cover like the CV profile you're looking for passionate individuals that's what you're looking for and the idea that you can scale on finding just those people I think is naive at best uh, because I've never seen it work it doesn't work it's never gonna work the model that you should, that I believe in, that works, that I've seen work the best, is that you because you can always you're always going to find some of those people, but the key is to figure out a way to simplify and streamline the development process within your company through hiring people like that. And they don't have to be the majority; they have to be, they just have to be empowered to help out the rest of the company set up good work practices uh, standardized tooling SDK based development or things like that in developing internal tools that's what they need to do in order to simplify the work to the point where I mean shit I have been in teams where we set that up and we basically can mass hire junior level developers because the, the development process became so simplified that we didn't need anybody who was more experienced have a great day.